Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dakota Brazer and I am Minister McLeod's Senior Communications Advisor and Press Secretary. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Following the announcement, the Minister will be taking questions from the media. If you do have a question, we just ask that you put your name and outlet in the chat bar on the side and I will unmute you to ask your question. Just a reminder, it is one question, one follow-up. I'll now turn it over to the Minister. Uh, thanks very much, Dakota, and thanks all for joining me uh, here today um, from uh, beautiful downtown Nepea in the great city of Ottawa. Um, as you know, tourism and transportation go hand in hand, and the 417 is a major connector and corridor for our city, our nation's capital, but also for our entire eastern Ontario region. That's why today, on behalf of my colleague, the Honourable Caroline Mulrooney, um, I'm announcing that the Ontario government will be investing $170 million dollars to build new bridges on Highway 417 to both improve road safety and support job creation in the city of Ottawa. Uh, the 417, as you are aware, is a significant vital link to keep people and goods moving across our province, including locally here in Ottawa. And that's why we're proud to be investing in new bridges that will help approximately 184,000 vehicles travel on this stretch of the 417 each and every day. The project includes the redevelopment of both eastbound and westbound bridges at five locations along the Highway 417, from both Island Park to Kent Street. Funding for the project will be provided from 2021 to 2024, and construction is expected to be completed over five construction seasons, from 2021 to 2025. Each of the rapid bridge replacements are tentatively scheduled to take place in the following years. Booth Street bridges on the 2022, Rochester Street Bridges 2022, Bronson Street Bridges 2023, Percy Street Bridges 2023, and Preston Street Bridges in 2024. This will be absolutely critical as our third largest economy within the city of Ottawa is of course tourism, which has been hit hard first and will take the longest to recover as a result of COVID-19. This investment today signals uh, uh, that uh, there will be confidence in our city to recover in the tourism sector and will make it easier for people from across Ontario and throughout Canada and around the world to visit our city. The bridge road placement and repairs are vital to keeping our highways safe and reliable while supporting economic growth in our local community. As Ontario continues the road to recovery, our government is delivering on our commitment to improve infrastructure while creating thousands of jobs these projects are part of Ontario's plan to make smart investments in highways, roads, and bridges, which improve road safety and commutes, support job creation, and grow the economy. I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you very much, Minister. Just as a reminder, if you do have a question, if you could put your name and outlet in the chat bar on the side, and I can unmute you individually. And we'll just give it about 30 seconds here. Yeah. Okay, Minister, it appears we don't have any questions at this time. I'll turn it over to you for any closing remarks. Well, thanks very much. Again, very proud today as the uh, MPP for Nepean, but also Ontario's Tourism Ministry, uh, to be announcing $170 million for 10 bridges that will uh, rehabilitate and really provide safe and reliable transportation on Highway 417 by replacing these bridges. So thank you all very much. We'll look forward to uh, having a conversation with you again in, the, in very short order. Thanks very much.